obviously it's not just directors and writers that you, whose careers you've kind of built. You've also built lots of actors' careers. I mean, you know, George Clooney in movies, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, Jennifer Lawrence were recently, and perhaps most famously, our own Dame Judi Dench. Mm -hmm. I mean, you kind of took her for... Yes, yes. <laughs> Dame Judi Dench. You kind of brought her to the world. Well, you know, Judy was doing television here, and then we did Mrs. Brown, and um, she got uh, nominated for an Oscar. And about uh, six years after five movies in a row, she really hadn't done movies. And I kept wondering, why hasn't she done movies? And she said to me, um, I'm going to, uh, I can't thank you enough. She had five nominations in a row. She'd won the Golden Globe and the Oscar for Shakespeare in Love. And it's literally chocolate, one after another, just kept rolling off the aisles of movies that we made together. And she took me to the Four Seasons restaurant. She said, I've got a surprise. You're a guy who has everything. I don't know what to get you. And Mike Nichols, may you rest in peace. Carly Simon, Nora Ephron, a lot of her friends were at the table. And I just sat down and she said, for the man who has everything. Now, the Four Seasons Grill is not the Four Seasons Hotel. This is where Henry Kissinger, Barry Diller, all the titans of industry are all in this room. <laughs> Judy Dench unbuckles her pants, and on her bum, as you say, yes. JD loves HW. <laughs> a tattoo. <laughs> she said, I put your name on my ass. <laughs> I have the Four Seasons, and I don't know what to do, whatever, so I fell down. <laughs> goes, what can you say to see Judy Dench have your name stenciled on her ass? And um, wow. over the years, the thing about Judy is as I've fallen more in love with her, she's fallen less in love with me. <laughs> I worked with Johnny Depp, and she, um, I think, probably had something with him. You know, we did chocolate together, and she just couldn't keep her hands off him. And, and the, the guy who's really... I don't mind Johnny, he's charming and wonderful, but this Daniel Craig guy she worked with... Yes. I mean, I, I literally almost had a fist fight with him at the Met Ball. You know what I mean? Just, I just didn't think he was worthy of her. I could see Johnny... <laughs> he, he's just preposterous, that guy. When I ran, you know, I'll, I'll show you. I said, he'll never be loyal to you. And sure enough, he shot her. They killed her. <laughs> Whatever. Am I right? Yeah. You're right. Whatever, yeah. right. She's, she's probably covered in tattoos now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, one Crossed thing, so I did Philomena with her last year. Oh, yeah? And, I, and I'm at the BAFTAs, she got nominated, and Oprah Winfrey got nominated for the butler. And I was sitting next to Oprah, and Judy was in the three rows below, and Oprah said to me, you know, that story about you and Judy, you know, with the, uh, you know, tattoo on her butt, that's complete fiction, isn't it? I go, Judy, do you have my name on your, on your name? Can you show Oprah? Swear to God, you mean, at no. the BAFTAs, as we're walking in, she unbuckles her pants, and she had H.W. stenciled on her butt. <laughs> Swear to God, Oprah Winfrey went <laughs> <laughs>